still going through my collection. And I've come now to Catlia Dawiana. Thank you so much for joining me. I thought that it might be a good idea to look at Catlia Dawiana together, film it because I've been looking through all my collection and the two year ones in self watering have been repotted and you've seen that in many occasions, different examples. But Catlia Dawiana is one of those maybe notorious kind of orchids. And um, well, it's been in self watering almost, if I can get the tag out. Yeah, it's been here a year and two weeks. So 12 months and two weeks, I've had Catlia Dawiana in this setup and it took to it like I would jump into a jacuzzi. Lovely, jubbly. It was awesome. Never looked back. You can see that I have a fantastic growth from this year. The size jump is astounding. Really pleased with that. And I would like it to do it again with this growth. So my little fairy has given me some signals that I am actually now adding to what I look out for in, in this setup. And you can see it's growing new growths from the old growth as it matures. So now I'm going to take it out of the little pot. I wanted to share that with you because I've been saying two years, three years, and they need a good cleanup. However, when I see something like this, and I remember what my little fairy was like after two years that this year's growth was very stunted, then I don't want this to happen with this growth, with the Dawiana now showing me a sizable new growth. I've had it soaking for an hour or so, and yeah, come on, still holding on to the tag, so that's a good sign. But I am ready to clean this up and see if I get at it with the right timing. And then I don't have this effect of too many roots in the pot and stunted growth to follow. And I appreciate that you clicked on the video to see what's going on and then follow the journey and see if we are correct or I am correct with my assumption regarding growth, roots, aeration, and space in the pot. I have some stuck to the side of the pot here. I would like to save them as best as I can. Please dislodge your dear root tip. Let's chat. <laughs> okay. Let's see. There's another one attached. Well, I must say, when it comes to roots and soaking, the Dawiana certainly is a stubborn one. Because you wouldn't think that by looking at this root right here, I don't know if you can see the one back here. That's nicely sucked the pot. And after an hour's soak, I wouldn't have expected it still to be white. So, is it you who's going to come out on top or me? Both of us, if it's me. There we go. Thank you. Let's give it another little bit of a tease a little further down. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, I like it a lot. Look at that. 12 months. How about that? And still growing new ones. So what I'm going to do is not clean this one up. There's nothing I've got to worry about here. But what I will do is give it a bigger pot in this case. I'm just going to bump it up. And then we can see in a year's time 
what we can do about cleaning it up if there's anything that needs to be done or if it's just a happy camper. So no roots dumped here whatsoever. I may need to tease out this microfiber because that's going to be a little complicated to say the least to thread back in. So let's have a look. Where are my new roots? Right there, okay? We're having a muggy, cloudy day, which is nice. I don't have to worry about light issues today. And I can film at leisure. I broke one root tip. Oh well, one's not so bad, considering what we've seen recently. <laughs> Do I want more of the lecker out? Whatever comes out, I'll let it. Oh, I'm happy about this. Very happy. So we can call this a success for the Dawiana in this setup after 12 months. And we're going to make sure that that next new growth is going to have the same result. Okay, I'll be back. There's one thing to be said about this time of year though, my goodness, the mosquitoes, the ones that are like the late comers of the season, they are aggressive. Jeez, not only are they a little smaller, but wow. I have this repellent that I spray myself with. I would prefer my normal fragrance, but no, not this time of year. And these little buggers, oh my goodness. They are so aggressive and they bite hard. Not, not fun, not fun at all. All right, so straightforward. You see, I didn't remove my support. There's no need. It stays as it is. And then I just bump it up. Move it to the back a little bit. And this orchid will not have known that anything even happened to it, which is great. Super clean leka. Don't even have to worry about rinsing that batch out. And give it the old shaky shaky like a Polaroid picture and get some more and add some more of the good stuff. This is perfect. I'm so happy to see this and I'm glad that I did it because I can give a good comparison then regarding the new growth, which in my opinion should not flounder at all. Has no reason to now. So my little fairy has given me some things to watch out for. It's been extremely helpful while I go through my little look-see do-over of my collection at this time of year. I still have another four weeks where these guys can all be established. Everything I've repotted so far has plenty of time to, if it's been taken apart, torn apart, or in any way disturbed beyond what's reasonable, and we've had a few cases, I'm fine. Until end of October, I'm fine temperature-wise. Okay, wow. I thought I could give you something a little bit more, well, I would say this was sensational. It gives a good insight into the culture so far with self-watering. And I'm seriously looking forward to seeing how that new growth performs. Now that it is in a bigger pot, it does have aeration. We didn't have to take anything out. The roots were all super good and I can bump it up. And then we'll see what this looks like in a year's time with updates in between, with updates, yes. But you know, in a year's time. Little bit of fertilizer on the bottom and we are good to go. That's it 
short and sweet. How perfect, how nice. I wish you all a wonderful day and thank you so very much for joining me. Take care. Bye.